Pause on of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American gold field production. Professor Porter and his party have been trapped in the temple cave by the cannibals. From the jungle, Tarzan and Jane Porter, sea lights through a fissure in the rock, communicate with the imprisoned party, and dynamite a section of the cave. Professor Porter's party escapes, but the noise of the explosion carries to the cannibals, who again attack them. Tarzan leads the party to a hidden retreat. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath! The jungle is ominously quiet. Yes, when Gomangani or Tarmangani come, then all jungle beasts hide. Gomangani? Tarzan means hmm? black men and white men. are not Gomangani. They are Tarmangani. White men? How can you tell Tarzan? Usha, the wind tells me. The wind? I don't understand. Usha carries their scent, and it is the scent of Tarmangani. Can it be? Can it be my sailors? Just what I was going to suggest. Oh, we had better wait to make sure. Look, look there, through the clearing. It is the sailors. Yes, you! about end our trouble. Yes, if only the cruiser would come, we could all be on our way. We forget a very important point, Philander. What? But for the treasure, Philander. The treasure. Oh, Daddy, you are impossible. Here, Tarzan just rescued you from certain death, and all you think about is that treasure. Oh, but, my dear... We'll talk about that later. What we want to do now is get back to the hut. Do you think we can start now, Tarzan? Yes, but only as far as that hollow. Why, Tarzan? Goldman Ganny. Do you feel that they are close? Very close. Look. Where? I don't see anything. Bert, circling very high. They know. And listen. Don't speak for a minute, and you'll hear. See what that has to do with going on to the hut. All the jungle beasts are afraid, and only of men are they afraid. I understand all that. They're probably afraid of the sailors. Of us? Why not? But, Monsieur Clayton, under the circumstances, surely it is common sense to take the advice of a man who is thoroughly versed in jungle lore. Oh, right. Make allowances. Make allowances for Clayton's fever, Dono. We, we, we still won't, but not to the extent of sacrificing everyone's safety to his obstinacy. Allah, Mais au revoir. We obey only the suggestions of Mr. Tarzan. Lion? Yes, this is Numa's home. You, you don't propose going in there? Numa has fed. He will not attack when his belly is full. But how do you know he has fed? Perhaps he has not. The scent of a full lion is not the sin of an empty one. This place is a regular cul-de-sac. If we ever get trapped in here, well, it will all be up. We can get out at the other end. I have been here many times. Well, personally, I think it's not a foolishness to go into a trap like this and escape a bunch of imaginary blacks. I don't think they're imaginary at all, Cecil. Tarzan is generally right. If he says the chemicals are around us, I believe it. I understand. The suggestion comes from Tarzan. <laughs> then it's all right. Cecil, you're being very childish. See? Already Numa has gone away. A splendid place for defense, Tarzan. Plenty of cover. No chance of the blacks rolling rocks down on us from the height, eh, Tarzan? I do not think so. If they do, there 
is a shallow cave in the white part that we will go to. It is the arrows we must watch. You understand the savages, Tarzan? Which way will they attack? I mean, from the starboard? Uh, no, 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 pardon. The right or the left side of the defile. They will keep in front of the sun as long as it is bright. It is hard to shoot with arrows against the sun. All right. I will place three, no better, four men behind that shelf of rock there. Yes, there. That will command the crossfire down that opening in the trees. Pierre! Oui. Hey, Jean, what is that? Oui, oui, oui. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah, attends les mes enfants. Aim low. No chance. Make every shot count and do not let one black pack that cut the money. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, c'est pêchez-vous. On me. Behind that, the footman. A sweeping fire across the mouth of the cot. And you, four men, behind the boulders in the bed, cover the retreat of Monsieur le Professeur and his party. Mademoiselle Jane. Yes, Lieutenant. As far back in the defile as possible. But, Lieutenant, I'm a good yes, shot. Yes, but if you will look after your father and Monsieur Falan there, it will spare my men. That's right, Lieutenant. I'll do as you say. We must be more quiet. You will never see a Goman Ganny. You must shoot when you hear the leaves rustle. I think that part of your statement is correct. We'll never see the Gorman gun. All this whole thing is utterly ridiculous. Heroic. Pure and simple. Oh, Clayton, what's the matter with you? What's that? What's that? Someone hurt? One of my men. A poisoned arrow. Everybody take cover. You look after them. I'm going into the trees. Look, Daddy. Look at all that. Incredible. I can hardly believe my eyes. Amazing agility. He's as much at home with the branches of a tree as we are on earth. But keep down, keep hidden. That one arrow is not all there is going to be. A sailor, how is he? Dead. Can you see what Tarzan's doing now, James? Yes, he's getting ready to use his bow and arrows. Great Scott! That's deadly accuracy. Look, look there in the brush. I got him. Bruno, Bruno. Yes? Keep them from getting between you and the trail.
What does that mean, Carter? They're getting ready to charge. Everybody get together. Back into the hole. Again to become prisoners, or will the superior jungle knowledge 